Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic scale drawing. And for this particular lesson, you want to cover something called survey. You want to see simple survey techniques and what survey is all about and uh, some few uh, problems involving survey. So we have uh, a few questions to help us with illustrations on how to solve problems involving survey. And of course, the simple survey techniques that are involved in, in survey. At the end of the lesson, we'll be having a few questions in the form of assignment to help us with practicing and also to gauge on your understanding, you know, of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So when you talk about survey, it involves uh, taking the field measurements of a given space. Maybe it could be a parcel of land, it could be a field, a playing ground, you know, or, 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 or some some space you know you would want to know what how much or what is the size of that particular space you know in terms of maybe square kilometers or hectares you know so it involves taking the field measurements of a given area so that the map of the area can be drawn to scale for documentation purposes you know you want to know the piece of land that i'm having what is the size you know so uh, pieces of land are usually surveyed in order to fix boundaries okay to call land adjudication and uh, that is for that is of land for different owners you know one person person a and person b they want to know where is my boundary where does my piece of land start from where does it end you know and things like that so that is the importance of doing of, of doing survey you know so we have uh, fixing boundaries we have uh, town planning, like a particular city you'd want to plan. Basically, maybe purposes of road construction and maybe electrical installation and things like that. So for town planning, road construction, water supplies, mineral development, and so on. You want to know what is the size of this land that you are planning with, you know. So there are uh, two major uh, techniques that are used in surveying. We have something called triangulation and we have something survey by use of compass bearing and distances. So we are going to focus on the first one, triangulation, for this particular uh, lesson. So triangulation involves, uh, it's a technique in which the area to be surveyed is divided into convenient geometrical figures, you know as we're going to see later on. Or we say it's covered by a suitable geometrical figure. That will be able to help us find the areas we're going to see later on. So we, what we're going to focus on right now for this particular lesson, we will focusing, we'll be focusing on how the survey is done and how that data is recorded into a surveyor's field book. You see, where this, all these information is recorded you know the surveyor's field book how, how is that information recorded because we have said now survey involves taking field measurements of a particular area you know piece of land so how this is recorded in the surveyor's field book we are going to focus on to on on, on 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 that for this particular lesson then later on we'll see how the information that is recorded in the surveyor's field book can be consumed to get approximate you know a approximate figure you know how the, the 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 piece of land would be looking like and possibly that would lead us into finding its area you know so this technique of triangulation involves drawing something called the baseline and uh, offsets and recording the data into a surveyor's field book so i want to see how that is done so supposedly this is the whole area you know this one here is the whole piece so you can draw this, this is the baseline, x, y, then you draw this, these offsets, you know, these ones we call them offsets, these ones here, offsets. So you see now this has divided the space into a given number of figures. You can see we have a trapezium, we have a, a, a triangle, we have a triangle, we have a triangle. So if you want to know what the size is, then you'll just find the area of this particular figures i'll find the area of the rectangle here i mean i mean triangle area of this triangle area of this triangle trapezium and then you find the area of the other trapezium and then you i mean of, of the area of the other triangle 
and then you will add all the areas together to give you the total area of, of this. You know. So what I want to focus on now is how to how to record this this data into a surveyor's field book. So a surveyor's field book is uh, an interesting book that is uh, done upwards, you know. So we're going to do it, or it's, it's, it's read upwards, or as you record it, also you'll be recording it upwards, as you want to see. So you start with the baseline. So the baseline is here, X, Y. You can see X is down here and Y is up there. See, So from X, so on this other side, I'm going to record the length. So this, this first column here, I'll be recording the, the length of offsets. And along this column here, I'll be recording the distances from X to the first offset, you know, to the respective offsets. You know, for example, the first offset is is at M. You know, this one here. When you move from X, is at M. But now, it's on the lower side. So the lower end, I'll be recording on this other side. Maybe you tilt it this way. So I'll be recording it on the right hand side. So I will write. 60 meters. I will not write M. Usually, the, the, the values that are recorded in the surveyor's field book, they are recorded in meters. So you don't have to indicate meters. But now 62 to M. And then from X to that offset that is leading us to M is 120. So I write it here, 120. So 120 coincides to 60 here. Then the next one is at R. So it's 90. Now it's on the I'll write on the right hand side because it's on top. So R 90. And then from X to that offset at, at R, actually it is P to P. From X to that offset at P. The distance is also indicated as 180. You know? Okay? And then the next offset, which is actually the last one. You only have three offsets in this case. We have this, this, this. So the last offset is at N. So it's a lo the lower end, so I'll write. I'll write it on the right-hand side. So we have uh, 180 mm -hmm. to N. But now from uh, X to that offset at, remember I've said X, Y is the boundary line, then we have the offset. That will help us dividing, it will help us in dividing the given shape into respective shapes. So that is 240, so you write 240 here. So 240 coincides with this. And then now the whole length is, So the whole length could be 300 so you write 300 up here so you say x y the total baseline is 300 meters that is the total length of the baseline so this is how we record you know later on we'll be able to see how we are able to move this information from the surveyor's field book to have this to, to 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 have a sketch of the given field you know so again we have the next one here so i'll do the same thing Okay, so this is again x, y. It could be a, b, 
So x, y, that is the baseline. And then we have from x to the first offset is 2, 2 centimeters, but we are using a scale of 1 centimeter representing 60 meters. So for the surveyor's field book, the values are recorded in meters. So I'll use 60 by 2 to give me 120. So that is 120. And then 2a is 240 because 4 by 60, 240 to a. Then the second offset is at is at B. B. So from this to that, actually now this the, these measurements that are given here are the lengths. So now this is the length here. The length. So we are able to get the distance from X to the second offset, which is four centimeters. You multiply by the other one, you will get two hundred and forty. So 240, and then to B is 0, so 0 meters to, to B. And then the third offset, now it's on top, so I'll write it on the left-hand side. But to that offset, that is 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is 7, 7 by 60 here is 420. So you take that whole length, which is 7, you multiply by 60, and that gives us 420. So to that offset is 420. And then now I'll write, so 4, 240. So 2 to D, 240. So that coincides with this. Then the, the, the next one at C is on the left-hand side, but now to that is... 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is plus 1, which is 8. 8 by that is 480. So 480. And then it's on the... I'll write it on the left-hand side. I'm assuming that I've tilted this so that the, the, the ones on the lower end are on the left-hand side. Okay, so that is 2. So that is 120. This is this offset here. 122 to C. And then finally to Y will be 600. Yes. So that is how we record information in the surveyor's speed book. Later on, uh, in our next lesson, we're going to look at how now we consume this information recorded in the surveyor's field book to have a rough sketch of the given field or, or, or piece of land or some space, maybe a playing ground or something. So that is all. Uh, I want uh, possibly you you attempt the given assignment just to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as we have discussed during this particular lesson. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.